what is up the vibes high school um you know we're back at it again with another devotion um for tonight and tonight i have a special guest which is my mom and she will be bringing our devotions for us tonight um many of you know her mama chris and she's gonna bring the devotion so you got it okay so um with everything that's going on um today um, I just thought that this was very prevalent. So um, the devotion that I was reading from, um, I actually read it two months ago. And um, it's perfect, to be honest. So um, it's called Peace Surrounded by Chaos. And I wrote some stuff down. So if you don't mind, I'm going to read what I wrote. Um, um and actually, the the scripture that coincides with this is Philippians 4, 6 um, through 7. And that reads, um, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, um, let your requests be made known to God. And then the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. And so the devotion to go along with that says, have you ever thought about um, maybe God is trying to establish a better communication with us? Um, I don't think many of us think that, you know, when we're going through chaotic situations that maybe God is trying to grab our attention. So that's definitely something to think about. Um, with him being invisible to the human eye, we have the mindset of out of sight, out of mind, and we're not on his mind, but that could be further from the truth. Like the enemy will always try and tell you that, um, oh, he's not thinking about you during this time. Um, you know, why do you even serve this God? Why do you even waste your time? That's a lie. Don't ever feel like God has forsaken you during this chaos, because like I said, that could be furthest from the truth. Um, also, we can say, um, oh, he's with us 24 seven. Oh, I know he has our best interest in mind, but when our emotions come into play, it will always tell the truth. Our emotions will always tell on us. I even say all the time, like, um, if my mouth don't say it, my face will. Um, and that's true when it comes to our emotions and when we're, when we're having anxiety and stuff like that about, you know, different situations. Like we've been praying and asking God for something and um, he's not showing up when we think that he should show up. And um, with the coronavirus that's going around, um, you know, everybody wants a right now answer, a right here answer. But um, during this time, I just because we don't see God working I know he's working it out. Um, also, um, how we're really feeling is, you know, how we really allow our minds to create fear and anxiety in our life during our chaos. If chaos becomes a challenge to overcome before we find peace, you are in essence saying to God that you don't believe or you don't care about what I'm going through. You're saying to God, yeah, God, I trust you, but do you really care about what I'm going through? Um, you're not answering my prayer. So, I mean, are you really hearing me? And the enemy will always make you feel like um, he's not listening when um, you're going through a, a, a trial or what have you. Um, it's also in this moment when our loving God tries to communicate with us during the, during the chaos um, he does care and he does care about what we're going through and you'll see that he cares um, when he starts to answer those prayers um, I know this to be very true in our lives um, we were walking through our family was walking through um, a valley and we're not quite out of it yet but you know God is still answering prayers and um, just seeing him answer those prayers something that we prayed about maybe like two years ago and starting to see it come to pass um i know for myself back then i couldn't see him working 
but I definitely see it now. And um, I just want to encourage you, if you're asking God for something and it's not happening right now, don't stop. Keep praying. Believe me, prayer works and God does answer prayer. Um, the Bible says that we need to make our, known, our needs known before the Father in heaven. And we need to do this, especially when our life in this world is surrounded by everything that's going on now. That's the time that we need to take him up on his invitation um, to bring our needs before the throne room of grace. It also, the word also says that um, what concerns him concerns, what concerns us concerns him. So if we're worried about something, he cares that we're worried about it. I don't care how small it is, or you may feel like, well, my needs don't compare to Susie's needs. Well, that's not true because God cares about all of our needs. So it doesn't matter. His word says what concerns us concerns him. And if you broke your finger and you want God to heal your finger, but your friend over here is going through whatever, her knee may be more bigger or greater than yours, you feel. Um, but God still cares about what you care about. So don't let the enemy, you know, trap you with that either. His word cannot lie. God changes people's perspective in life. And when you see the things that he has rescued you from, then you'll know for sure that he was in the details. He really did care what you were going through. Um, he cares about your fears. He cares about your anxieties. He's able to do all things, which include taking care of things that seem impossible. My dad used to always tell me as a little girl, um, God can do anything but fail. And I say that all the time. I say that like right now to this day. I even say it to my kids um, when they're going through stuff. Um, I even say it to some of you, some of the students, you know, God can do anything but fail and it never really hit me until I got older that that is so true like there's nothing that God can't do and he won't fail at it he will always succeed at it um so I, I just want to encourage you Christian and I to just when everything feels like it's just falling to pieces around you, just know that your God in heaven cares for you. He cares what's going on in your life. He cares about your anxieties. He cares about your little cat that you lost last week. He cares about all of that stuff, stuff that seems so irrelevant. He really does care about it. Um, do you have anything to add? Um, when, when, we guys, when we're going through seasons and you know the chaos and stuff like that, I've always been told that it's just a trial, it's just a test. And the reason why you're going through that season is because on the other side of your trial and your, and your uh, chaos is your breakthrough. That's right. And you know, God's just putting you to the test to see if you're still gonna be faithful and still gonna serve him and still gonna get on your knees and say, God, I thank you, God, you know, you're, you're so good to me. And even in this rough season that I have right now, even in this valley that I'm walking through, I'm still gonna praise you, you're still gonna get all the glory. And on that other side, is your breakthrough yeah. so just keep pushing and I know it gets tough trust me I've been there I'm I'm in a valley right now and I'm still pushing oh I know on the other side that my breakthroughs coming yeah so you know y'all y'all just keep faith and keep pressing in for God you know that's all I got um and so with that I definitely want to close in prayer um so if you don't mind just allow us to pray um, Lord, I ask for you for your peace um, in the middle of all this chaos. I pray that we're calm and collected at the time, at all times today and every day, God. Um, may we rest and relax in your presence. May we let go of all anxieties, the thoughts uh, that surround us, that come against us, Father. May we let those go. Let us stop rushing and start praying. Let us go. Um, into this world God and just let us be able to share your light like you've taught us to like you've commanded us to God we need to learn to let go and let God and father we thank you for this time of fellowship we thank you that you're faithful even when we're unfaithful um, we thank you father for all that you are all that you've done 
And I pray, God, that you would just continue to help us throughout this day and throughout this time. In Jesus' name, amen.